God, I meant to send them. Oh, God. Uh, they're paralyzed with fear and loss of their homes. They're, there's not much left of the village, but you don't push them. You settle in to rest for a moment. Well, I just feel like a jackass now, because I meant to totally send them back to Strand with a couple um, of escorts. But uh, I guess that's not going to be happening anymore. Mm. Oh, well. So we got Hawk and a promotion. Yeah, you get your promotion, Hawken. I didn't forget about you. Mulger also gets one, but I think I'm going to wait on him. Um, yeah, I think I can give Eric one, too. Give him armor. Uh, Gris also gets one. I'll give him more armor as well. Somehow you have one, even though you're almost completely useless. What the hell else am I supposed to do? Um, I guess armor. Okay, looks good to me. So I can give him some more armor, right? Yeah, it gives him one more armor. Yeah, I'll do that. Sounds good. Let's get out of here then. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the map because I can't remember exactly where we were. Um, I feel like we're almost about halfway to the uh, the capital. Oh god, we are not even halfway to the capital. Wait, wait a second. I'm really confused. What path did we take? Why are we going to Ridgehorn? Shouldn't we have cut up this direction and then started heading to Grofhem? Wow, okay, well, that seems like a kind of a stupid choice. Unless, I mean, um, I don't know, maybe there was a crap ton of, uh, of, a. Uh, dredge that we're covering that road, and that's why we decided to take the left instead of the right. I think that was a bad choice, but I don't remember making that choice in the last video. Or whatever, last session, I should say. Marketplace, I'm not going to bother with right now, but I think we are going to rest for one more day, and then we are going to leave. I feel still terrible about my choice about the villagers, because they are probably all going to die now, and I regret everything, because I am not a mean person. <laughs> I'm going to cry about this. You hear a shout echo on the wind, a strand, uh, standard Varl greeting. A caravan of Varl headed in your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Okay, what? You must be with Wagner. It was. Wagner didn't make it. You're serious? It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. You're flying the Schlid. Schlid? Schlid? Banner. What's happening? Isn't Ulfar in charge there? I'm Falset. Ulfar still in Schlind, in case he needs to be. He sent me to meet Wagner. Well, you. We've seen nothing happening in Schlind yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schlind. I'm, I think I'm butchering that one as well. Uh, they're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. Uh, one group went that way. We came here. Wow, okay, so you're telling me that the direction that we are walking, which is Ridgehorn, is... Unfortunately, where all these dredge are pouring out. Ridgehorn, the fort on the bay? That place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, well, maybe that's why they're there. They're there. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Luden forces his way into the conversation. Oh my god, Luden, shut up. Wait a godless minute. What did you do? Careful now. You be careful. What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in Ar Arborang. The Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who who the fane is this? <laughs> um, take him and go to Grofhem. We'll meet you later. Shut your mouth, Luden, or I'll smash your face in. I really, I, I really want to say this last one, but I'm not going to. Uh, we are going to do... Uh, take him. Take him. Are you insane? He just said an army of dredge are pouring out of that fort. Go on to Grofhem, then, Prince. Having your blood on my hands would be worse than doing nothing. This shuts Luden up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expected you to come along. He glances at his men. We're already this far. If this is the Varl's doing, I'll know of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I do, or if I go, so do uh, your son Bercy. Luden's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mulgar can't contain a chuckle. Ha, the prince has courage. 
I'd rather you were, uh, were safely in Grofheim, Luden. Do whatever you like, Luden. Knock him out and hold and send him away. Oh my gosh. Um, I, to be honest, like, I, I feel like Hawken would be more of a man who'd be all like, oh, I don't give a crap. Do, do whatever you want. However, at the same time, I do kind of want to have him go safely to Grofheim. I don't know. He is the prince of the humans, and we already lost Wagner, who was the prince... Well, I don't know if he's a, he was exactly a prince, per se? I don't know. I guess I don't know enough about the Valor Conf uh, culture. Uh, let's see this stuff real quick. I'd rather you stopped acting like the one in charge of me. What kind of alliance is this? These are Varl lands. We're facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True, mankind has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting the dredge into genocide a game for your kind? <coughs> Alright, excuse me. I started choking for a second there. Um, so I can either walk away or lay the prince flat and send him off to Grofheim. Man, I really... Like, this is weird, because this this is like the third choice that they have given me so far that tells me to just knock him the fuck out, lay him on his ass, and throw him in a cart and send him to Grofheim. I'm still not going to, just because I feel like that will have some serious consequences in the future. So I'm just going to walk away. You curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If Luden stays, so do Falslet's warriors. They join the caravan. I did get a crap ton of Varl. Oh my god, 775? But we did just lose a crap ton of supplies. Oh my gosh. Well, look how big our caravan is now. Oh my gosh. Well, this looks like it's the godstone that they were talking about earlier. The hike approaching the godstone is murder. You recall how most godstones are built on hills overlooking other godstones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! I'm not going to actually yell. Um, uh, shouts Moger near the front of the caravan. Suddenly black rocks are whizzing past your head. What the hell is this, you shout? Moger shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of a nearby Varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor-sharp fragments. Get behind the shield banger, shouts Moger, as you approach for a fight. Dredge lined the battlefield. Again, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. Inevitable. Um, you take a quick head count. Yeah, there's probably a crap ton, because they have to even out with our numbers. Even from here, you can see nervous glances amongst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Alright, so I can either do the charge again, I can do formations, hold them off, retreat, and oversee. What does formations do? You start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking in, into account terrain, morale, and the look at your, of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. Well then, let's do what's oversee. Looking across the battlefield, you wonder if a tactical approach would be best. If you keep your weapon sheathed, you'll be able to take in the fight from afar and give orders with a clear head. You can never tell exactly what is going to turn out, though. Uh, let's go back one more time. Okay, well... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, let's do Oversee. You know what? Let's just try doing Oversee for once. Uh, you hang back and try to direct the chaos of battle the best you can. Lost 55 fighters, oh my god, 241 Varl. We got one kill, one win, zero clansmen, a bunch of freaking losses. A crap ton of losses compared to any of the other fights. Shards of black stone, pepper bodies, and shields. Suddenly you feel an explosion across your face. When you wake up again, you've been pulled from the combat. Mogar tells you that while you were unconscious, the treasure cart was accidentally pulled over a cliff. Damned dredge, Gunolf fell trying to save it, Mogger reports solemnly. You've lost many other warriors, but get back to your feet and move again before you're, dis you're discovered. No, wait, what? Gunolf? You, did you guys seriously just kill my favorite goddamn Varl, who is the strongest character I had, by the by? <sighs> I feel so defeated now. I knew this game was, like, kind of like a mixture of, like, Game of Thrones drama-esque. See, I'm going to be building a lot of relationship with these characters. They're just going to end up dying, and that is that is fairly upsetting to me. There's going to be some, some talking now. Pretty sure? No, wow. The caravan, the caravan stops. Gonstone looming over. Oh my god, looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it, and the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it though. The earth at the base of the godstone is scarred, like a struggle occurred. Merchants. 
No dredge. Encircling ding, uh, dingler are a variety of goods. A barrel of mead, who knows how old, loose silver, a statue made of soapstone, offerings to a dead god. Wait, what? Leave... Okay, so leave the dead and their offerings alone. Leave the offerings, but check for the merchant's brother. Gather whatever you can. Leave the offering, but check the burn. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out of the jerkin to find five golden rings stung on it. The merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it, you mutter. Um, take it with the intent to return it. You, talk to, you, t you toss the necklace to Mulgar and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. I uh, don't know what made them think the gods don't be saved, Mulgar grunts. We're completely exposed up here, he says. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. Examine the costume real quick. Dengler was always one of the favorites among men. God of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, and whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually, you move on. Well, that's a little sad. Um, if you remember from one of the previous videos, um, the uh, I had somebody ask about the merchant... Um, or I guess the merchant asked about his brother, who had stayed behind at the Godstone to hold back the dredge, or thought it was safe. And it turns out he had died in a valiant, or not valiant, I don't know, uh, battle. I, li I really like the art of this game, though. Like, I, I cannot stress enough. Oh my gosh, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see these guys? Look at them, I can see them over here. Wait, so wait, are you telling me, like, these are all dredge? Like, all of these little freaking shadows are all dredge? That's ridiculous. Um, in the distance, you see smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires, says Mulgur, but it does get their attention. We'd use fires like that to lead them along in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they wised up to that after a while, interjects another warrior. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention, claims Falsalit. Falsalt. Uh, the other group from Schlid were sent this way. No matter how you look at it, investigating will cost time. Not worth the, worth the risk. Send some Varl. I'm checking out myself. The sounds of fighting ahead com com uh, compel you to crash through the foliage, sidestepping Varl and Dredge bodies along the way. You burst into a scene of carnage. A vast number of Varl surrounded by Dredge. Explanations go wait, You charge into the fight. Okay. Well, that works too, I guess. Um, so, unfortunately, we did lose one of our best fighters. And so now we are going to have to deal with False Lilt and hope he is a high damage dealing um, two-handed swordsman like uh, Gun uh, Gunolf was. Bless his heart. May he rest in peace. I'll try not to cry. Nope, he is also a shield banger. Or, yeah, he, he is a shield banger. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess this, this formation is better than any. Walk up. Kill this guy real quick. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> 